This morning, we're talking about Pet Partners of Syracuse, and we have some special guests in the studio, including Max here. He is adorable. What a cutie. We also have Sue and Maureen from the organization. Thanks so much for Thank coming you. in. And this organization yeah. really brings people and pets together. Can you tell us what is this exactly? Well, it's you use your own pet, and it's a great way to give back to the community, and you get to visit hospitals, nursing homes, schools, help children read, the whole thing. It's just a really great way to, to give back or pay forward. Sure. So volunteers that want to go out, they bring their pets and they go into these different environments. Exactly. So tell us, how does it help the people in those environments? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They just light right up, especially um, people that are in assisted living or mm -hmm. nursing homes that have to leave their pets behind. Yeah. It's just great. They're able to re, you know, revisit and get to see their pets if, through our pets. How often do they go and visit these different people? Well, that, that's the beauty of our program is that because we're a national organization, um, you get to set up your own schedule oh, okay. and go where you want to go. Even if you live in Florida during the winter, especially on days like today, you know, you can still do visitations. And can you tell us, you have this beautiful, beautiful dog here. I mean, what's yeah. it like even for the animals that take part in this? You know, um, it, we say it's not where your pet starts out, Max, is a rescue. Mm -hmm. um, it's not the breed, it's the attitude. And the thing is, is that Max is just drawn to people. He loves visiting. So when we go to the hospitals, the nursing homes, uh, he just goes from person to person to person. And it, it's it's not it's a tough job. <laughs> Someone's got to have it. You know, I can but imagine it's, uh, it just really helps people. I mean, when he came mm -hmm. in here this morning, I can tell you know it's been crazy yeah. with the weather. We're doing all this stuff, and just to see him, it's like oh, everybody mm -hmm. just kind of relaxed and yeah. felt better. You feel exactly. better when you see an animal like this. So if people want to get involved, whether they maybe want to volunteer or if they want to take part and have the pet go to their organization, what do they do? Just go to our website, uh, petpartnersofsyracuse.org. Um, we have informational meetings. You can get all the dates there. And Sue is actually at uh, Petco on Erie Boulevard the first Thursday of every month. So you can visit I'll her be there this Thursday night with yeah. your pet if you're interested. All right. That sounds mm -hmm. awesome. Anything else that you would like to add this morning? This is a great way for people that have retired to give back to the community. If they're looking for something to do, they feel like they still want to do something but on their own schedule and not necessarily work every day, mm -hmm. um, it would be great. Well, I love it. I think it sounds great. Thank you so much for being with us and stay with us. We're going to have a check on that forecast when we come back.